Had a lot of action over the past 12 hours or so. Nick, what are we uh, looking at now? Yeah, some improvement now across uh, from north to south uh, as the storm continues to uh, push its way down to the southeast. We'll see the snow showers come to an end last while the valley clears out first. We're already starting to see breaks in the cloud cover too across parts of the valley as all this continues pushing its way in uh, from north to south. But it, we had some very heavy snow for much of the afternoon. Snowfall rates are about two inches per hour during the height of the storm and high winds that brought visibility near zero as you went up over the pass earlier. Dawn are sitting at 19 degrees, whereas uh, the lower elevations, you get closer to about 3,000 feet, temperatures closer to the lower 30s uh, at this point. Pollock Pines at 31 degrees have been fluctuating a little bit depending on the intensity of the precipitation. But you can see the most recent batch of that snow is now pushing its way down to the south, transitioning over to just snow showers here on out. We'll start to see the same thing happen across Calaveras and Tuolumne County uh, fairly soon. Down to the valley, back towards Stockton, you're looking at a few light showers that are down to your south and east at this point. Uh, an isolated shower across the Sacramento Valley can't be ruled out through the remainder of the day, but rain chances will continue to drop off as this front and the storm system altogether moves down to the south and east. So what we see through tonight, some clearing and chilly temperatures uh, across much of the valley will get close to freezing. And because of the recent rainfall in the valley we've had, uh, we're going to see some fog tonight and some of that will be locally dense and red. That's going to bring visibility down is just a few hundred feet and with temperatures close to freezing, I'm expecting to see a lot of frost across parts of the valley early in the morning tomorrow. The afternoon mixing up with plenty of sunshine and a nice quiet day for your day on Sunday as we finish out the week and getting ready to start off this upcoming weekend. Temperatures across the foothills into the 20s tonight. Some snow showers linger into the overnight across the Sierra down to the single digits, but the wind chill value will be sub zero through much of the night. So very chilly in the mountains as well. Tomorrow back up to about 50 degrees, lower 50s in across much of Sacramento County down to the Central Valley, low to mid 50s for high temperatures with plenty of afternoon sunshine. You can expect the same as you head west toward the Bay Area, the foothills into the 40s and then upper 20s near 30 in the year with that fresh coating of snow. So a fantastic day, a nice winter day, I should say, on tap for your day on Sunday. Later this week, we have yet another system we're following. Another round of some snow showers, fairly light on Tuesday. Behind that on Wednesday, going into Thursday, yet another system that will bring in more accumulating snow to the Sierra. And this one for the higher elevations may result in additional 6 to 12 inches of snowfall over the next five days. So mainly a little bit on Tuesday, not much. And then late Wednesday to Thursday, we'll be adding more to that and with the heaviest and the greatest accumulations above 5,000 feet. So winter is here going into the following week. In terms of the valley, minimal impacts. I have some showers. Isolated showers on Tuesday, scattered showers by Wednesday. You can see the morning starting off really chilly, a lot of frost start off the week. And then later this week, going into next weekend, we'll be watching for yet another uh, round of showers and mountain snow by next weekend. Brady?